Are you tired of rebuilding AI integrations every time you have to switch models? MCP is a standard we've all been waiting for, and I'll show you why it matters. Hey everyone, Sterling here. Today, we're diving into the one thing that most excites me about AI, and that is Model Context Protocol, or MCP. Bigger models aren't driving the next wave of AI innovation. The real disruption is quieter. It's standardization. Much like HTTP and REST standardized how web applications connect to services, MCP standardizes how AI models connect to tools. To understand why MCP matters, let's consider a real world scenario. Meet Lily. She's a product manager and she's juggling multiple projects across Jira, Figma, GitHub, Slack, Gmail, and Confluence. Prior to MCP, if Lily wanted to use an AI to help manage these tools, she faced a problem. Every model had its custom way of connecting to services. Each integration pulled her deeper into a single vendor's platform. When she needed to add a new tool like Gong, for instance, for call transcripts, it meant building yet another bespoke connection. This fragmentation created vendor lock-in. Switching to better models meant redoing all of those integrations from the ground up. And that was not just cost-effective, but it was a suboptimal solution. Now with MCP, each one of the tools that Lily made can now be used by multiple LLMs so she can switch between them as she needs. Launched by Anthropic in November 2024, MCP had somewhat of a slower start. That was until in March of 2025, Sam Altman tweeted, people love MCP and we are excited to add support across our products. Here was one big company that was falling in line and saying, hey, we're gonna adopt this. But only a few weeks later, Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google, asked his Twitter followers, to MCP or not to MCP? That's the question. Let me know in comments. A week later, the answer was in. Love the feedback, to MCP it is. So in the short amount of time, three major players in the AI world all adopted MCP as the default standard. Official SDKs are available now in Python, TypeScript, Java, C+, Rust, Kotlin, and Swift, with community SDKs for Go and others following. This universal adoption creates a common language for AI applications to interact with the world beyond their training data. Let's start with what MCP actually is. The Model Context Protocol is an open framework that standardizes how AI models interact with external tools and data sources. Think of MCP as the USB-C of the AI world. Before USB-C, you needed different cables for different connections, HDMI for displays, USB-A for data, and you had lightning adapters and various other power adapters. Similarly, before MCP, developers had to build custom connections for each AI model and each service they wanted to integrate with, which was a time-consuming process that once again created vendor lock-in. Now with MCP, it's like a USB-C for every device. You have one type of cable and it can go into your laptop, your headphones, your mouse, your keyboard, and everything else. With MCP, we have a universal connection for all of our tools, our resources, and our prompts that can be swapped to any other AI model. MCP servers provide three types of capabilities, each with a distinct purpose. First are resources. These are data that the LLM can read. Think of documents, databases, or API responses. For example, instead of copying and pasting your quarterly sales report to an LLM, you can simply say, read my Q1 sales report, and an LLM could access it directly through MCP. Next, we have tools. These are the actions that an LLM can perform with your permission. They're essentially running code or making API calls on your behalf. For example, instead of an LLM saying, I can't check the weather, it could say the current weather in San Francisco is 70 degrees because it uses a weather tool to fetch real-time data. And lastly, prompts. These are the specialized instruction templates that can tell an LLM how to approach a specific task. It's like having pre-configured personalities or expertise modes. For example, one prompt can instruct an LLM to analyze code like a security expert, while another could have it respond like a kindergarten teacher explaining complex topics. Now let's take a look at this inside of Postman. I've connected my MCP server, and you can see I've got my tools, prompts, and resources. So the tools, we're going to have a simple echo message. We'll say, hello, Sterling. And when I run this, the response is, hello, Sterling. We can also run that calculator function. So we're going to add... Well, maybe let's say we're going to multiply, we'll say 42 times, I don't know, uh, we'll say 300 and, 320. Now we can run that, and the, the answer is uh, 13,444. This is all coming through and running 
from my machine from that MCP server I made. Now let's look at the resources. I've got my resource, which is sample text. I can just run that and that's gonna respond with the sample text that I have already uploaded to my MCP server. Same with user data. The resources are simply just retrieving the resources for us. And lastly, we have the prompts. And this is a sample prompt. We'll say uh, name to greet, Sterling, and topic to discuss, we'll say Star Trek. And I'll run that and the, res and the MCP responds with, hello Sterling, let's talk about Star Trek. Great, so the MCP server is working inside of Postman and you can see all three capabilities are available to us, tools, prompts, and resources. Despite its many benefits, MCP comes with important challenges that leaders should understand. Security and trust are paramount concerns. MCP servers act as gateways between AI models and sensitive information. If you don't control or can't fully trust the operator of an MCP server, you risk exposing company secrets or customer data to unknown parties. Even with secure connections, subtle implementation flaws can create security vulnerabilities. Next. Identity management presents another hurdle. AI models can't reliably enforce access controls or distinguish between users with similar names. When an LLM asks, which Chris should I email? The confusion isn't just annoying, it's a security risk. Authorization must happen outside the model through robust identity systems with carefully scoped permissions. With any integration point, quality varies widely. APIs evolve constantly and MCP servers that aren't actively maintained can drift out of sync with underlying services. Without proper monitoring, you might experience broken integrations or inconsistent data. Finally, there are practical considerations of cost and complexity. Each tool call through MCP consumes additional tokens, potentially increasing your AI usage costs. And servers with too many tool options can overwhelm models with choices, leading to inefficient interactions. And the good news? None of these challenges are deal breakers. As the MCP ecosystem matures, best practices and governance frameworks are emerging to address these concerns head on. MCP isn't just hype. It's a fundamental shift in infrastructure for AI applications. Just as HTTP standardized the web, MCP is standardizing how AI connects to the real world systems. By creating a universal connector between models and tools, MCP reduces the development time and eliminates vendor lock-in. The MCP Builder and MCP Client are available in Postman today to build and test your own MCP servers. Check it out and let us know what you thought. Join the conversation on Discord and in our Postman community. Links are in the description down below. Thanks for watching.